Hi, I'm Chris Adamo from Balloons Online, Sydney, Australia. Today, I'm going to show you how we inflate our 24-inch Qualitex Deco Bubbles. So it's something I've been thinking about for a long time now. It's, it's a very difficult process. Um, doing it by hand up against a helium tank with an economy reg, you've got two hands, you're trying to open it. Um, so this is something I uh, came up with a couple of weeks ago and I spent the weekend, well, a little bit of the weekend, building a... Uh, a little device. So I'll come and show you guys. It's a bit of wood. Um, but what I've done here is the white cylindrical um, prism there is a silicon um, tip, like for a silicon gun. And I'll, I'll show you a still photo of that process. It's very simple. Just cut the nib off, cut the base off. And what I've done as well, see if you can get that in focus, I've, um, with a Stanley knife, just cut a little nib um, around the, um, the circle of the tip and when we add, we're going to add a little rubber, um, rubber band which is the end of a 5 inch and that's going to sit or nestle in that, um, in that curve there. The other thing we've got is our, our little quick clip. Uh, I've cut the end of it and just screwed it onto the bit of timber and that's going to help us um, cut the edge of the, uh, the end of the 5 inch when we're done. So. First things first, just grab a clamp. You could probably put it onto a helium tank, but let's uh, maybe off a bench is a bit easier. Grab a clamp and uh, clamp it onto your workbench. So we'll get our 24 inch deco bubble. So you can see some examples that we did yesterday. Um, it's a beautiful product. We're selling a lot of them in Sydney and I just needed a way desperately to make the process a bit faster and easier. Uh, so the neck, of the deco bubble, um, just pinch it a little bit so it narrows, pull it up through the, the tube, open up the, uh, the balloon and then wrap it around the exterior of that tube. Okay, So we've pulled it through to centre and we're wrapping around the outside. So now I've got our um, little 5 inch neck, our rubber band, and I'm just going to pull that over and it just secures the bubble Delicately, but enough. Okay, so with our Conwin sizer, um, I've set it to 0.1 at about 60 PSI, so that when it inflates, it inflates pretty good, okay? Now the next thing you'll notice is our little tube here. So this is simply the, the tubes that come with the machine when you buy it. Um, however, we don't use it for the purpose intended. So I've just cut the ends, split them, and the other thing I've done is uh, just put a little bit of tape around the end. We've used our machine a lot here. The, um, it's not as tight a fitting anymore, so I just needed to thicken that up a little bit. It stops the tube from blowing off the end. Okay, so now for the exciting part. I hope you're all excited. Um, put the, the tube in the five inch, so it's, it gives it something that's a little bit more taunt, a little bit more strength to then insert into the bubble. Okay. I pull it back a little bit, hold on tight, and inflate it. So now a knot, however best you can tie a knot, however it's very important to try and roll the knot close to the underside of the, of the five inch, um, because we want those knots <coughs> to be uh, as tight as possible. So tie our knot, roll it down, and then use the cutter just to trim the excess. All right, so grab the five inch, in over the pipe, down through our little access, and a knot that is, as roll it down as close to the five inch as you can, clip it, might give a bit more room. And I like to fill the bubble completely as full as you can um, in its uninflated state. You'll notice, although it looks very full right now, um, when you fill it with helium, it's just come off. Uh, when you fill it with helium, it, uh, the, the volume will almost double. Okay. 
So we're done. We've filled the 24-inch um, deco bubble with as many 5-inch that we can comfortably get in there before it starts to stretch. Now, of course, once we start to stretch it, we're adding helium or, or, or air inside and uh, we won't be able to use our device anymore. So that's fine. This is the same amount of balloons I've used behind us here. Um, but um, I didn't even count them. I just filled it as full as we can, tried to, in this case, halve the, the color distribution. So next we're going to um, inflate it. And uh, I'll show our little tip that uh, there's a lot of ways to do it. Uh, economy regs are fine. Um, it's advised not to use the, um, um, the foil inflator because it doesn't have the, the correct amount of pressure. So I'll just get going on that. I've actually reduced the output pressure on this uh, quite significantly. It, it does it a bit slower, but it just gives me a little bit more control. Um, although the output pressure is, uh, what's that? Like 30 PSI, um, it's still enough to, to get the stretches out. It's not gonna stop like um, a coiled foil inflator will. So I'm looking at the stretch marks. The idea is to have zero stretch marks entirely. If it's gonna be a hot day outside, I'll, I'll give it a little bit so it has room for expansion. Um, let's get a little closer there. Oh, one thing actually, where did it go? One of the five inch pops, here it is. Let's try and get rid of that little bit before we tie it. There we go. So looking at the, the wrinkles. Great, I'm happy with that. Now tying, okay, let's, um, there's several ways to do it. I prefer using a 260Q instead of a 160Q or anything else. You can tie it with nylon, maybe we'll show that another day, where you just wrap and wrap and wrap so many times, you get a lot of friction, a lot of surface area, and if that's tied really tight, I've had no problems with that at the same. I'm eventually going to tie this thin satin ribbon to it. To me, that's not the most ideal um, material to tie first in the first instance. It's not going to get it really tight. So we're going to use a little bit of um, a little off cut of our 260, and, uh, and then I'm going to tie a satin ribbon on the end of that. So I'll come up close. Let's see what we've got there. Cool. Okay, so I'm, the first thing, I'm pinching it so that I'm following the curve of the balloon. I'm pinching it as tight as I can to the underside of that balloon so that when I do my first twist, all right, it's twisting on that pinch, okay? And twist as many times as you want. It's all about having as much surface area on the coil of that twist. So you can see that the curve of the bubble hasn't been distorted. You can't see any of the, uh, the neck coming through that curvature. All right, grab our 260, wrap it around the same way that you've been rolling it. And I usually use a bench or something so I've got two hands to work with. I'm pushing the neck down, the material of the, of the neck down away from me so that I can tie two knots nice and tight. Now if you want as well, at this point, fold the neck over back in the other direction, the other side of the, the meat of the 260. And it's just once again more surface area being compressed. All right. So I'll trim that to the end. And uh, next thing I'm gonna do is tie the, the ribbon. So I've trimmed it really, really tight so you can't see much of the 260 at all. And if you wish, if you're worried about the color, like I could have used um, a gold 260 in this, in this case, but if you're worried, you can just wrap the satin ribbon or whatever you're using around the material of the 260 and it'll just hide it. And what we do is we put a little bow on the end and that hides it a bit as well. Even the, the meat of the bubble here, I'm just gonna fold that in and wrap it. Okay, so I won't go any further, but I, I hope that helps. Um, so far we've, we've halved the amount of time required to inflate these things. Um, so let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear if, if you've done it, if you've, if you've made one of these and if it's helped. Um, speak to you later.